happy Tuesday. Hope you're all doing good. Making some bread, Sarah. Hey, Mallory. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Renee. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Amory. Hey, Carol. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Sheila. Hey, all Renee right. by Residente. Wasn't talking to you, Siri. Rude. my apron down. There we go. All right. Do I have a link for this? Actually, I think it's on my Amazon uh, page. Hey, Susan. She made it to West Virginia. How's it going out there, girl? Um, I do... <laughs> Sarah. I do think um, that I have a link for this on my Amazon page. Tracy almost had a deep S, but then did not. <laughs> Close, but not. All right, you guys, I'm gonna make something this morning I can't pronounce. It's called huevos con vertilagas. This is purslane. If you haven't had purslane, this is what it looks like. It is, according to Google, an invasive weed. Most people pick it and throw it. They don't eat it. But not KJ. Actually, KJ don't pick it either. KJ gets it in her box of veggies. <laughs> I need to give it a good rinse. I should have done that first. I have tried a little of this in my salads, and it's pretty good. It's just a... I don't know. It's just a green. It really doesn't have any distinctive flavor, in my opinion. Verdolaga. Uh, verdolagas. Verdolagas. Ver verdolagas, Sarah says. Okay. Verdolagas. So, traditionally, Verdolagas, according to Google, because I don't know traditionally. You cook verdolagas with an onion. I'm going to use a green onion because it's what I have. My zipper on my bag broke. <laughs> Sarah, homeschooling mama over there. She knows all the right ways to say things. We need Alita on here. She can probably tell us more about this. She's got some amazing cooking skills with this type of food. There's plenty of onion. I'm doing, this is gonna be an E, y'all. So I'm using a teaspoon of fat. I may have to add a little water to help cook that down. And then on the old Google, they use the stems and everything. I'm gonna have, but see there's like flowering heads. You see this? This is why I should have lifted up a whole stem first. If you haven't seen this, this is what it looks like. If you've ever seen sidewalks, like the, I have seen this stuff before in the south, growing up in the sidewalk cracks. You didn't know there was lunch right there on the sidewalk, did you? You had no idea. You could just go over and start eating the sidewalk. I'm not going to eat the bottom stalks because they're pretty thick and I just have a feeling they're going to take. This is called purslane, Karen. According to Google, it's an invasive garden weed that is edible. Um, 
it was planted where I got it, purslane, P-U-R-S-L-A-I-N-E. I think I got that right. I had never heard of it before. So when my veggie box came this week, I was like, I'm sorry, what? What is that? I had never seen or heard of it. So I started doing some digging and it said you could just, it's just like any other green, put it in salads, whatever, whatever you want. Um, and so I've had it in a couple of salads this week. And then I looked up our breakfast recipe yesterday and found this. I thought, okay, okay. Huevos con verdolagas. Did I say that right, Sarah? Huevos con verdolagas. Main girl. This main girl does not know. She's just winging it. What I do know, I did look this up, see if I can tell you. Right, no I. P that's right, Mary. P-U-R-S-L-A-N-E. So, it's rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which help support your arteries, can help prevent strokes, heart attacks, and other form of heart disease. It's, it has a rich nutritional profile many vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Um, it is used as a purgative cardiac tonic, emollient muscle relaxant, anti-inflammatory, and diuretic treatment in herbal medicine. It's often used in the treatment of osteoporosis and psoriasis. Who knew? So, it's, it smells like, I don't know, Mallory. I want to say kale. From what I can see, Faith, yes. They said it grows as a weed in gardens. People plant it, but do can you go out? It smells like weed. Ah, whoops, where am I going? My eggs are right here. Um, basically, go out and cut your lawn. No, nobody go out and eat the weeds out of your garden without researching. I don't want any... I, get these calls. So it falls in the emergency room because she went out and made a salad out of her garden weeds because you told her to. No, I didn't. Told you to pay attention. All right. I'm going to do egg beaters. I'm going to do um, almost a whole cup. It's going to be a big old breakfast. And I need some salt and pepper. Um, a lot of times this recipe has, where's my pepper? From what I can find, a lot of times this recipe you can put, you can chop up tomatoes. It's not bitter, Sheila? Good. Good. My carb source. Hmm, Tracy gonna be an E, so what should my carb source be with huevos con verdolaga, verdolagas. I'm gonna have it with this right here. Corn tortillas, baby. <sighs> watermelon would be good. I'm gonna have watermelon for lunch. You'd have it, Alita? Yeah, from what I was reading, 
It's most commonly used in Latin American countries, and it, it's a, it, as a pervasive weed. They, they pick it and eat it. Here, I don't know if it grows as a weed here or if it has to be planted. I don't know. Right, yeah, you don't want to get something that's been treated with bug spray. <laughs> Didn't taste very good, but there's no more ticks on me. <laughs> I'm all about the weeds, Melissa. <laughs> this is purslane. Big old scramble. And I'm using a cup of egg beaters because I want carbs with this. If I didn't want to have carbs with it and wanted to have an S meal, I could use whole eggs. But I want me some carbs. Good to know, Sarah. Sarah says it's easy to grow. Just plant it and it's happy. Yes, Mallory. Pro tip. If you find it on a sidewalk, before you put it in your salad, make sure you rinse the dog pee off it. <laughs> Pro tip, you'll never know what you'll learn here on Joyful Life with KJ. <laughs> I don't know what either one of those things are, Mary. Is it, is it a, Sarah, you said you got it at a greenhouse. Is it one of those things, don't ask me what they're called, the things that grow every year or you have to replant it. Perennial, annual, I get so confused. Annual to me means it comes back annually, but apparently it doesn't mean that. Perennial means something around the year, I don't know, whatever. But is this one of those things that does that? Looks just like the Google video. I, I love these nonstick pans. They're so effective. Look how good they work. I mean, have you ever seen a more effective nonstick pan? Whatever. All right. It's a big old pile of food. Many. <laughs> no, I'm not endorsing those pans. Nope, I didn't even say who made them. I'm not endorsing them. All right, a serving of these is three. This will have, it's got one gram of fat, NBD, no big deal. Um, and it has 22 carbs in three servings. I mean, three tortillas. I'm gonna warm them up. I should, pro you know what? I'll warm them up right over the fire like a professional. This is how Gordon Ramsay would do it. He'd slap it right over his grill like that. That's how I'm gonna do it. Where's my tongs? I better find it mighty quick before I catch my tortilla on fire. I already did. Okay, there's one. I'm going to set my kitchen on fire over here. Wait, that don't, that don't take long to warm up. Good. There we go. Oh, salsa. Salsa. Alita, you're not going to be very brave of me. Brave of me. You're not going to be very proud of me when I use this <sighs> crappy jar of salsa. I don't have good old homemade salsa right now. I wish I did. I might not have crappy jar salsa either. It's 
Good thing I got a fresh shoulder. <laughs> I can't get it. Oh my word. I do have Swery Mary, and I'm gonna put, got it right here. I'm gonna put them both on. Floor, but it's everywhere. I know, right, Christine? I'm putting that new shoulder to work. Looks good. Get that sauce off the floor. Earn your keep. My Mary's too thick to come out of my bottle, sweary Mary. This is sweary Mary's hella jalapeno. That's right. Sweary Mary's hella jalapeno fermented hot sauce. Has tomatillos and a whole bunch of yummy, yummy, yummy things. Do you have this available for sale, Mary? Are you sold out or do you have this available? Because I think she has some available. You can email her at themarvelousmarymalone at gmail.com and she'll direct you where to buy it on her Etsy store. Good stuff. All right, look at that breakfast. Tell me you ain't jelly. I don't know, I haven't tasted it yet, Sherry. Does it have a lot of heat? Is this how I'm supposed to eat this, I assume? That's a good breakfast. Mmm, ooh, Mary. thing you have an apron on. <laughs> Alright you guys. Thank you for joining me this morning for this interesting breakfast of weeds. Huevos con verdolagas. Verdola ver I think I gotta say it faster. Verdolagas. Huevos con verdolagas. That's how you have to say that. Really, really fast. So it sounds like you know what you're talking about. Huevos con verdolagas. And get quiet at the end and then nobody knows if you pronounced it right or not thanks for joining me you guys i'm gonna go eat my breakfast breakfast my brekkie and go to work get my veggies in today i love you all thanks for joining me this morning i'll see you back tomorrow for more devotions um listen i won't be live tomorrow on this page because i will only be live in my coaching group tomorrow morning in my coaching group i am playing a game of chopped this week in coaching group, we're having a game of Chopped and we're having, it's gonna be so much fun. We have baskets to choose from and we're gonna play a game. So tomorrow, I am going to choose my basket and I'm going to make a breakfast live in my coaching group. So if you don't wanna miss out on the game of Chopped and all that fun, go to www.joyflifewithkj.com, click on coaching classes and register under flames. You'll be get to be part of all in August where we go 100% all in, all on plan, rocking this plan the entire month of August without missing a beat. It's going to be wonderful. So if you want to join me for that, go check it out. If you register before the end of this month using code I need joy, you'll get 25% off your first month. You've never heard of Chopped Sherry? Girl, you need to go out on YouTube or on the Google and look up Chopped. Look up Chopped and watch it. It is so much fun. So we'll do that tomorrow in the coaching group. I love you all. Have a great day and I'll see you back 
tomorrow for devotions. Bye. They said something about holding it down while it blends, so maybe I should have done that. You're gonna come.